A burglar breaks into a home and holds the husband and wife in it hostage. At gunpoint, he forces the two to sit on chairs facing the opposite way, back to each other, and ties them to the chairs. The burglar slowly and methodically begins stealing from the house. When the burglar has taken everything of value, he gets ready to leave, the homeowners still bound to their chairs, when suddenly the man yells at the burglar. Please untie her, please let her go. The thief responds. No, I'm not untying either of you so that the authorities get notified as late as possible. Don't worry, your neighbors will soon wonder why your lights are still on throughout the night and check in on you long before you succumb to dehydration. The man yet again pleads. Please, just untie her, I'll do anything. The burglar once again explains his reasoning. I need to get away with this crime, I'm sorry, I can't leave anything up to chance. The man shuffles his chair towards the burglar and, in a state of mania, exclaims. I'm begging you, man, just let her go, she won't call the cops, I promise. The burglar, still unwilling to budge, did find it quite touching how much his hostage cared about his wife. Wow, he said, you must really love your wife to beg me to untie her so desperately. No, the man replied, in a state of frenzy. My wife will be home in 15 minutes. <laughs> for cannibals apply for a job at a big corporation. Well, says the boss, if I hire you guys, you have to promise to not eat any of our staff. The cannibals promise that they will not eat anyone and get hired. Everything is going well for a while, and one day the boss calls them into his office. You're working well and all, but we're missing an office cleaner. Do you have something to do with that? The cannibals swear that they are innocent. The boss believes them and leaves the office, and they all turn to their leader. You idiots, he screams. Who ate the cleaner? One of the cannibals sheepishly raises his hand. You fool, shouts the leader. For weeks we've been feasting on directors, team leaders, project managers, and human resource staff, and then you go and eat someone they'll actually miss. <laughs> a woman, cranky because her husband was late coming home again, decided to leave a note, saying, I've had enough and have left you. Don't bother coming after me. Then she hid under the bed to see his reaction. After a short while, the husband comes home and she can hear him in the kitchen before he comes into the bedroom. She could see him walk towards the dresser and pick up the note. After a few minutes, he wrote something on it before picking up the phone and calling someone. She's finally gone. Yeah, I know, about bloody time. I'm coming to see you. Put on that sexy French nighty. I love you. I can't wait to see you. We'll do all the naughty things you like. He hung up, grabbed his keys, and left. She heard the car drive off as she came out from under the bed. Seething with rage and tears in her eyes, she grabbed the note to see what he wrote. I can see your feet. We're out of bread. Be back in five minutes. <laughs>